Helen Mirren was in the uh, film The Good Liar. Came out in 2019. And honestly, that was one of my favorite films of last year. Like, to be honest, man. Heavily overlooked. Uh, uh, you know, great performances with Ian McKellen being in that film. And um, I feel like it, it was just this film that hit on so much different topics. But it was also really thrilling you know you could talk about the themes of you know you know getting back at you know abuse or whatever like you could talk about that but you could not deny that it was thrilling up until almost every point of the movie and it was one of the most satisfying endings out of any film and the fact that it was more charming and not really on a grand thrilling level you know what I mean it wasn't that grand it was more just you know a charming little end to that film I'll definitely it's like one of those movies that um People from older, younger ages could appreciate, and that was a good little flick right there. So Helen Mirren was the star of that, and um, let's get let's get right into this one because um, I'm hype. I'm hype. This one's called The Duke. It's a trailer for The Duke, and Matthew Goods in it as well. Will the defendant please stand? Kempton Bunton, you were charged that on the 21st of March 1961, you stole from the National Gallery a priceless portrait of the Duke of Wellington by Francisco Jose de Goya. And they're charging him, they're charging him 50 years later? Chill. Not very good, is it? Right. <laughs> he stole the, he saw the scream one and he didn't the take, that's good. Stolen by a highly professional international criminal gang. Mind your boomers? Almost certainly a trained commando. <coughs> You're right. Bit of biscuit. One problem. What's that? Your mother. I can explain. I'm shaken. It's the shock. Shock, yes. I'm sh so it was the old guy who stole shock that. What a baller. It's in my wardrobe. What's the oh, it's a true story. For? 140,000 pounds. For what? Charity. Good. I'm I'm tackling social injustice. I'm like Robin Hood. You're an idiot. The tax made for that. Oh, he's the guy from. He's the uh, the guy from Hot Fuzz, man. I'm so hyped for the. the I can't explain how hype I am for this movie. All right, like this is one minute in. It's for the greater good of mankind. Mankind? What about your own kind? Your own kind. That's a good little exchange. How long will you get? Yes. You could have told me. We could have dealt with it together. You married young. I had to marry. I had to marry. It was love. <laughs> oh man. A thief. He borrowed your girl. It's one of those that gives me goosebumps. You know what I mean? This is just one of those movies that makes me want to smile, you know what I'm saying? You can't pay for pensioners and war veterans. Every time someone gets cut off from the rest of us, this country becomes a foot shorter. It's like if you cared about the people in Dog Day Afternoon. <laughs> like, let's say if the guy in Dog Day Afternoon was donating the charity, this is what that would be. I like I looked out for other people and got into trouble for it. But I had faith. Oh, man. Not in God, but in people. How do you plead? Not guilty. Yes! For those unfamiliar with court proceedings, that was the plea, not the verdict. <laughs> that's funny. That's good. I think that's just one everybody could enjoy, you know. It's not it doesn't have a boxed in audience, you know what I mean? Unless for some people for some reason people are against British cinema, which I disagree. I think British cinema is always Got something in store, you know. Um, but yeah, um, which, tell me what you guys thought of this trailer in the comments, and uh, thanks for watching.